Okay, so I'm going to run through just a couple of examples um, for solving exponential equations using logarithms. These examples should be pretty similar to what you might see on Khan Academy um, when trying to solve equations. Um, as you can see, the first one we have here, um, 7 times e to the 3x is equal to 42. I want to solve this. Um, and since we're trying to isolate the x, you know, we can get rid of, uh, we're just trying to get rid of everything else uh, from the outside in. So the very first thing we, of course, could do here is just to uh, get that 7 to the other side, all right? So let's just divide here um, by 7. Of course, we're dividing the whole side by 7. And same thing on that side. So now we have e to the 3x is equal to 6. And this is where we run into the situation where we have to employ a logarithm, right? We're solving for, sorry, we're solving for the, you know, the variable that's in the exponent. And whenever you're doing that, you have to use, you have to use a logarithm. Okay, so let's just kind of remember the pattern from the definition. Um, if we have an exponential equation such as b, I'm going to try to write it similar to what we had in the, in the last video b to the y is equal to x. That is true if and only if, um, let's see, we would have the log and our base goes down here in the subscript, right? And then we always take the log of the power, in this case, the power would be x, and then that would equal the exponent, right? So we have our, I think I wrote it this way, that, uh, let's see, the base, raised to the exponent equals the power. I'm going to abbreviate. If and only if the log to the base in the subscript of the power equals the exponent. Okay. So let's see, we would want to, so we're going to change it to a log. Our base is e. So we'll put e down there. Our power in this case, right, is the 6, and then that's going to equal the exponent. And in this case, the exponent is the entire uh, expression, 3x. That's a little different from what we saw in the video, right? Now we can actually rewrite this as ln, okay? And I usually use cursive when I'm writing natural log, not that you have to, and that equals 3x. So this really simplifies our problem right now, just to isolate x, all we have to do is divide by three or multiply by one third. So we're gonna be left with x equals one third times the natural log of six, all right? And that's actually the exact answer, okay? If we want a decimal approximation, this is when we can go, we can go to our calculator and locate the natural log. Uh, natural log button. Now this time, uh, we're just going to use the e to the x button. If you look right above it in blue, it says ln on your calculator. So you're going to hit control and then e to the x, and that gives us ln. And I believe we need the natural log of 6, right? And then that's being multiplied by 1 third. And notice I need to come outside the parentheses here uh, to do the multiplication. And of course, I don't know if we could there's maybe easier ways to do it, but I'm going to type it kind of exactly the way it's written on the page. And then to get an approximation, I'm going to hit Control Enter, and it looks like it's 0.597. All right, so we'll just come back and say this equals approximately 0 0.597. Okay, so let's uh, scroll down a little bit here. I've kind of copied. Um, or move what we had written down about the base and exponent. Typically, the power implies the log of the power with your base equals the exponent. This might be something that's just kind of keep in front of you as you're solving these. Why don't you um, pause the video and see if you can solve for t in this equation here in blue, and then we can check your answer. So pause the video and, and give it a try. This time it's base 10. Um, which might be a little more familiar than using base E. Okay, see if this is what you did. 
I might have made it a little trickier because, let's see, first of all, we can still divide by three like we were doing before, but we're going to be kind of left with that fraction there. So I'll have 10, uh, 10 to the 2t minus 1 equals 11 thirds, all right? And now what we need to do is get to that variable that's in the, in the exponent. So that's going to require a logarithm, all right? So let's go ahead and just kind of write the word log. Our base is 10. I'm going to go ahead and put a 10 down there. Um, we need to have our power in parentheses. So our power is 11 thirds is time. And then that should equal our exponent. And this time our exponent is 2t minus 1. All right. Now, if we're going to get an exact answer, let's, let's stay away from the calculator right now. All right. And first thing I think we need to do, well, change colors here, is just to add one, right, to both sides. Okay, so that's going to give us um, log. Now, if I if I leave off the ten, I'm still okay because that is what a common log is. Okay, so I'll have log of eleven thirds plus one equals two t. And now we just need to divide by two, or I would probably write it as one half times, but I need to make sure it's one half times all of what, what, what we have up there, right? So it's going to be one half times the log of 11 thirds. Whoops, I think I wrote pi there instead of 11. There we go. Um, 11 thirds, and then I have the plus one there. So if we wanted to distribute that one half, right, we would have one half times the log of 11 thirds. And then we have plus one half, one times one half. Okay, and we can go to our calculator now and see what that would approximately equal. I should have written approximate, approximately equal. So let's go over the calculator and let's see, we have one half. So one over the two and then multiply that by the common log. So this time we want to hit control and then the 10 to the X button, and this is the common log. <clears throat> And if you want to write a 10 in that first part, you could, but you can just kind of skip it since it's the common log. And we were taking the log of 11 thirds. And then I believe we have, whoops, I don't need that extra parentheses. I'll just come outside and then I can't remember if it was plus one half or minus one half. Looks like it's plus. All right, so we'll come back and do plus one half. I think I'll just do 0.5, a little easier to write. Okay, and now if we hit enter, looks like we're getting 0 0.782. All right, before we go off of this, I did want to point out there is one other place you can find the log application. I couldn't find it a little while ago, but if you hit this template button right next to the nine, you will see there is a log, the log option up here. Um, so if you click on that, it gives you that. Now I'm wondering if, if I put E here, if that would change it to natural log. So like if I did log base E of two, let's see what it, what it gives me. Yeah, and see how it calls that ln of two. And then of course I can still get an approximation. Okay, so we ended up with 0 0.782 for that answer coming over here. I did it. Oops, left out the seven. There we go. All right, so I hope this helps with um, maybe one of the problem sets that you're going to see on Khan Academy.